I know the vision gonna come together, but I just don't know. Cause I haven't even worn my cargo skirt to school yet. Place. Look at you. Okay, I'm having a, trying to I'm trying to multitask right now. It's not going really well. You didn't don't multitask. I'm having a very deep conversation with my mama right now. It's not and it's not going really well. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Detroit Lions. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October and off we go on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. You talk about this Lions defense, currently number one in the NFL against the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. On first down, Justin Herbert. Now a deep one for Johnston. Touchdown! Quentin Johnston, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in. Didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. 
We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Levis to throw on first and ten here. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. Oh, my goodness. Now that is going to be out of bounds on the free kick. And that's a big mistake. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the 50, here's Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown, L.A. Quentin Johnston with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now the point after try for Santos. And that will make this a 16-point lead. Now, after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of, you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry a whip. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. And this Charles, definitely not what they were wanting to see. Remember, he threw three interceptions in the loss last week, and now he gives the ball away again here in the very first quarter. And you have to think that this was drilled into him all week, too, by his teammates, by his coaching staff. They've told him all week long, we've got to protect the football. They probably crossed that fine line with giving him the right advice and saying it too much, and it turned out that it got into his head a little bit. On first and 10, Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Chargers are able to stretch out their lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. 
the Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Levis. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Chargers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there, worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for L.A. 44 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it's Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. From 19 yards away. And the Chargers are an extra point away from going up by 30. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter. They're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they've put up. I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Santos now to add the PAT. is now an even 30. Makes the score. Chargers 30. Lions nothing. Cairo Santos set to kick off. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. We got this. Here we go. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they come in losers of two straight. And remember, they've got the open date on their calendar next weekend, but... You think it's vitally important, Charles, that they focus on the task at hand here? Absolutely, because these players, they know what's coming up, and the difference between taking time off following a win versus doing so on a three-game losing streak, 
that's absolutely huge because they may come back if they lose this game to a facility and there may be new faces in there and some teammates lost. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Gibbs will try and pick it up. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. They do go for it. Here's Levis. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Herbert off a of play action. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Charge your football to start quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three so the ball position now at the three here's second and goal now Herbert off the bootleg rolling to his right and this is caught he's got it touchdown LA a great effort there with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. Santos with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown, so now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Now second and nine. Play action now. Levis. He's airing it out for Williams. This is caught inside the 15. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jameson Williams. 69 yards. And the Lions are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Point after. Right down the middle. And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. 
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout is going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. Looking to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To the air again, Herbert. Allen's got it complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play at its second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. On the out route, he finds Johnston. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again, and he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. Touchdown! Quentin Johnston on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Chargers just continue to roll. Boy, I mean, at this point, what more do we say here? I got nothing. And you know, so many people talk all the time about having announcer list games, and they want that. This could be a candidate for it, because if we stay here and do this, we're going to have a lot to fill in in the second half. There's still another half. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away from the end zone here comes Williams and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. 
On first down, Levis. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Let's go now. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Levis back to throw. Got a man, it's caught at the six yard line. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Williams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Lions are able to at least get one score back. Extra point splits the uprights. And they get a bit of a respite here for what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert. And this throw will be intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. First and ten, it's Levis. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. On second down, here's Gibbs. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Levis looking to throw. And he knocks the ball incomplete zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete and no move to get the offense off the field despite failing once they're going to go again here on fourth down now levis he's got the first down and more than that and down to the 16-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. Touchdown! Jalen Rowe as the first half is winding down. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps. 
but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in the second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Extra point right down the middle, and that will shave a bit off the lead as it's down to a 23-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger drive about to get going. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't, because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. He gets it to Johnston. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. From the end zone, here comes Williams. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll go again with Gibbs. And some space here. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. On first and ten, here's Gibbs. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Back to throw, it's Levis. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown! First career NFL touchdown. And the Lions are able to cut into that deficit. Dan Campbell makes the call. His guys will go for two here. They're going to try and run. 
So we're able to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The Charger drive about to get going. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And off to Gibbs, headed right here, taken down at the 47-yard line. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. A second down throw from Levis. And he slings one that's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Levis on third down. And that is incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Levis to throw it. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gibbs straight ahead. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Touchdown, Detroit! Sam LaPorta, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions get a bit closer. Extra point attempt to follow here. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Here's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one covers 29 yards, first down. On the option, here's Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And he's going to be out of bounds, but...
but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Here's Herbert. Right side, he has Johnston. And he'll be out of bounds. An excellent gain, 35 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dropped. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Justin Herbert. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Santos with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now a second and 10. Levis to throw off play action. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On third down, here's Gibbs. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and run for it. And he's not even going to come close to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. On first down, Justin Herbert. Got his man. It's Williams. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. Quick throw here to Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Chargers add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they, unfortunately, are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. 
Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Here's Levis. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Let's go. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time now. Here's Levis. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all you got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. His record-setting ball game just continues. I mean, we're getting into silly territory here. He is closing in on 400 yards. To the air again, Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Well, they just continue to roll. And, Charles, for you and I, we want the close games. But for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it with them from week to week, and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. So eight yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Back 
to the air on second down. Levis. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And this offense on third down today, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. Levis. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple more times to give them a chance. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. At their own 22 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Out of the gun, Herbert. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense, but taking it right down Broadway. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon. And that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff. And they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, business as usual for them. Well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. Santos with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. 
This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Levis throwing again on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Derwin James with a pick. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the top.